hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here, still the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, this video is going to be called, going to be called, Under the Bus. <laughs> but, we're not going to... We're not going to use the same format as we do with other stuff that uh, I've got going around in my head. You know, like Elmer's at Month, Weapon at Week, and Hashtag Ask Porky, and all these other little uh, gimmicks that we've got going. And we're not going to sit here and talk. <laughs> right, it's under the bus, and we're going to look at fights that have gone on in the past, and now I've started the ball rolling, I want you, the boxing fans, to tell me on these future fights that are coming up which fights you think that a promoter is throwing somebody on the bus because I see things a lot earlier than most people because I study the game and and I sit with people who work in boxing and instead and we say I've seen that fight and they'll go gee what's going on there so he's throwing him under the bus isn't it so hence the name under the bus Double decker bus with fighter getting thrown under it. It's not nice, but it's the harsh reality of the business that is boxing. That is the sport of boxing, as Floyd Mayweather would say. Now, I'm just going to give you five fights, right? That just off the top of my head now that, and I think, God, what's going on there? They're throwing him under the bus there, aren't they? Dave Allen against Luis Ortiz. We've got Dave Allen there, right? You know, he probably had 20 fights, amateur and professional. And he's going there with Louis Ortiz, what, 350, 400 amateur fights and an undefeated, big punching, two time Olympian, Southpaw. Hey? I've got Dave Allen, little, little Dave Allen there going in with him from Cunningsborough, DN12. That's throwing somebody under the bus. Now, Whoever's advising Dave Allen on taking fights like that, they should be ashamed of themselves. Should be ashamed of themselves. All the people involved in that, and I said it to Eddie Earn in an email, all the people involved in that should have been ashamed of themselves. Alright? He got more for that fight he's just had now than he did Ortiz. So that's one fight. Dave Allen against Lewis Ortiz. I oh, bled for Dave that night. His tongue opened up that bad that it was it were flapping like that. Second. It were flapping like that. All upside of it. They don't stitch it, they just put like the gel stuff in. They <laughs> can't talk like that for weeks. Peeing blood free week. So putting a kid like that in we young kid like that in with Louis Ortiz, a big bad monster. So we've got all these big bad monsters in England, all these super heavyweights that are going to do wonders and they're going to fight everybody and I'm the can man! Anybody who wants can get it! Well, Dillian White's not been nowhere near Lewis Ortiz, has he? And Lewis Ortiz was 35, wasn't he? 36 when Dave Allen fought him, something like that. He's 40 odd now, isn't he? So we might get Dillian against him now, but Dillian's got 41 year old Povetkin next. But point I'm trying to make is this video is not about Dillian White because he's never going to get thrown under the bus, is he? Because he don't want to take risks, does he? He don't want to take a risk. So people can say, yeah, he took a risk fighting Joshua, didn't he? What, coming off a two-year drug ban? Give, giving a pay-per-view? Coming off a two-year drug ban? 14 and 0 novice? <laughs> Do me a favour. Eh? So... Now, Dave Allen, under the bus. Right? against Louis Ortiz. Smigger Smig against Andre Ward. Smigger Smig coming off the back of... What they were coming off the back of? I mean, how's he got a fight with Andre Ward? A pound for pound superstar. How is Smigger Smig even in the same ring as Andre Ward? 
on the strength of what? His best win is Tony Dodson on paper, twice. Tony Dodson is Paul Smith's best win on paper. How is he even in the same arena as Andre Ward? I don't know. I mean, oh God. I don't even know how that happened. But what did he do? He come in about seven, eight pound of weight, didn't he? I don't even know how that fight was made, but and all they could say about that one at Sky War. Well, he, he's tough. He, he's got a puncher's chance. Look, when pundits and people like that in boxing and just said, you know what? Paul Smith's really up for this. When they say, oh, he's really up for this, and I've got a squeaky bum here, Coogan. Eric Molina's really up for this. What a part time school teacher's really up for fighting Joshua when he's about 36, 37 year old. Do me a favour. Paul Smith shouldn't have been in with Andre Ward. So, all them people saying, Paul Smith's got a bit of pop in his punches. It were cringe and it were awful. And they all back Ward to win by KO. So, come off it. We know what it were, don't we? Like you say, it is what it is. Well, it is what it isn't in my eyes. Paul Smith shouldn't have been anywhere near Ward. So that's two. Kel Brook against Golovkin. A welterweight going in with a killer middle. He never fought at the weight, but the first time he does it, it's a killer. Who's equal to record with Bernard Hopkins for most middleweight defences. And it's a better record than Hopkins because... He didn't have as any draws like as, as as many draws as Hopkins, but Hopkins beat more world champions than him over that period. So you could say probably Hopkins's record maybe might be better. But I think Golovkin would have done Hopkins back in the day. But we don't know, do we? We don't know. They never fought. But the neck and neck on twenty defenses each. But a killer middleweight who were icing everybody that come near him. You only had to stand next him and you froze into an ice cube and they put the babby they put the babby in with him didn't they and he's here at the weigh-in saying I've got a chocolate brownie for you chocolate brownie your trainer was stood there with a towel in his hand for five rounds do me a favor under the bus don't even get me started on Brook versus Triple G I don't want to know Another one, here's another one, oh my god. Lee Purdy against Devin Alexander with Darren Barker as the trainer throwing the towel in. When they're throwing towels in, it means under the bus, in my opinion, you're out your depth. You shouldn't be in there. Forget all that manager's slot. You shouldn't be in there with that person at that time. It's the wrong timing. Which brings me to Clinton Woods against Roy Jones. I don't think Clinton Woods was ready for that fight. Dennis threw a towel in, didn't he? So Dennis, you know, can't get off scot-free on that. Yeah, they were mandatory and all that, and you have to test yourself, don't you, Bert? But we know what happened, don't we? So that's just my opinion, but they rolled the dice, they got paid, and, you know, eventually, Clinton beat the guy who knocked out Roy Jones, but Styles make fights, and... I think at that time, I, th I don't think Clinton were ready. I think you could have done with a bit more seasoning. Seasoning is the word. Seasoning. But that's just my opinion. I mean, how is that for? I'm thinking of another one. I can't think of another one. Gavin Reese against Adrian Broner. Oh my God. Under the bus. That word. <laughs> Gavin Reese shouldn't have been nowhere near Adrian Broner, should he? Not at that weight. Come on. Is, is it a weight less than what he, what he won a world title at? What, what were all that about? Yeah, I know he was a former world champion and that, but he was going life and death with guys at domestic level. Come on. Gavin Reese were thrown under a bus against Adrian Broner. So Eddie Hearn could make out, well, I'll put a world title fight on with Broner, who was going to be a superstar. Look, Gavin Reese were thrown under the bus. I mean, you've got Dave Allen, Ortiz, Smigger Smig Ward, Brooke Triple G, Purdy Devon Alexander, Gavin Reese against Adrian Broner. Under the bus, all five. I could give you a list of 25, but I'm going to interact with you people on this. So send me in your ideas for under the bus 
you know and, and we'll do we'll do this every week under the bus okay so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing it is what it isn't <laughs> you like that one didn't you right first of all i just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing it means a lot to me because uh, we're on this journey together aren't we so anybody got any ideas for the channel fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right shout out to innovation alloys and south yorkshire packaging all right don't forget to subscribe keep on trucking <laughs>